All right. In this case, we've been given a graph and we're being asked to write the equation of our ellipse. So, depending on the information they've given us determines what we're going to have to do to get there. So remember, we're going to have these two forms. It's either going to be horizontal or vertical, one of the first things you should determine. Remember, the major axis determines that. So in this case, we can see this is 3 and this is only 2. So, let's go ahead and mark that. The major axis is horizontal. So we're definitely going to use this form of the equation. Now, we need to find h and k, which is the center, which in this case we know. But in other cases, if they don't tell us, we know it's got to be the midpoint between the axes. So choose either axis, find its midpoint, and that's going to be your center. So in this case, we know the center, and that's at, what is that, 2 comma 2. And that represents h and k. Okay, so we've got h and k. We know it's horizontal, so so far we can write part of our answer. We can go ahead and write x minus h2 squared over something plus y minus 2, the k value, squared over something. And we know it always equals 1. So we've got all that figured out. The only other thing we have to figure out now is a and b. And remember, a is always larger than b. a squared is always larger than b. So when we look here, that's got to be our a value, and this has to be the b value. So if that's the case, a squared, 3 squared is going to be 9, and b squared, which is 2 squared, is going to be 4. So there would be our equation. Now, in other iterations, they may not give you the center, but they might give you the two vertices. Like I said, find the midpoint, that'll tell you the center. Other times, they may tell you one vertice and the foci. So that's going to tell you if it's the major, it's the A. If it's the minor, it's the B. And if they tell you the distance out to the foci, that's the C value. So in that case, we would be using this equation to find the other value. So let's just say they didn't tell us this. But they did tell us that the foci was right here at 2 plus the square root of 5, comma, 2. Well, you can see it's come over 2 and the square root of 5 more. We've already got 2 here, so that distance for c is the square root of 5. So c equals square root of 5. We could go ahead and plug that in here square root of 5 squared equals, we know a is 3 squared minus b squared. Square root of 5 squared would just be 5. 3 squared is 9 minus b squared. Move the b squared over here to make it positive. Move the 5 over there to get rid of it. And we find that b equals plus and minus 2, which is exactly what we had said up here before, that B was a 2. So determining, uh, depending on what they've given you will help determine which way you get there, but these are the key things you're going to be using. Okay, right on folks. Hope you have a good time with it. Enjoy and ask lots of questions if you have any.